Mark. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Lieutenant Trevin Upkeys with the Salem Police Department. And I'm here today with other members of the City of Salem team to provide you, our community, with some answers to the most commonly asked questions we are receiving about city services as they relate to the COVID-19 pandemic. We understand there is a lot of information out there and we wanna help you get the information you need about city services. With me today are representatives from the Salem Fire Department and the City of Salem Public Works. Each of them will provide you with the responses to the top questions their departments have been receiving. But let's start with questions for us at Salem PD. The first question is, will I be stopped or will I be cited or arrested if I'm out walking or driving? The quick answer is no. The governor's executive order is meant to provide information about social distancing to help us flatten the curve for infection rates. Our goal as law enforcement is to educate first. We, if we see people that are in violation of the executive order, our main goal is to educate people on the benefits of social distancing and staying home and staying safe. So first, we're gonna educate. Second, we will ask for compliance for people to abide by those um, orders that have been given out. And last but not least, or last and least, um, we have the authority to cite for a C misdemeanor if people flagrantly violate that executive order, but that is our last option. We hope that education and asking for compliance will be enough. Do I need documentation from my employer in order to travel to and from my job? The answer is no. There is no need for documentation to show that your work is essential or if you're in compliance with the governor's executive orders. Third, should I call police if I see people congregating or not social distancing in public? Once again, the answer is no. There are many different ways in order to report violations, some of those being going to the Occupational Health and Safety Administration's website reporting people to the Oregon Health Authority and contacting the state government. If we happen to see people, uh, as I stated before, that are violating the executive order, our, our goal will be to educate and ask for compliance. But um, please do not call 911 when you see people violating the executive order as we still have all of our other emergency operations that take place. So those are the top three questions for the PD. And now I'm going to be turning it over to um, Deputy Fire Chief Gabe Ben Musa. Thank you, Lieutenant Upkeys. First question for the fire department. Since the COVID-19 outbreak, has Salem Fire Department changed their response to calls? <clears throat> we have not changed our response. We still will respond to 911 calls. What we've changed is the procedures, how we approach COVID-19 type uh, potential calls. And the approach follows the CDC guidelines, which is the Center for Disease Control and the Oregon Health Authority guidelines on how to respond to those calls. We have equipped our firefighters with personal protective equipment, so there's a heightened sense of, of uh, safety. Uh, what you might see is the, uh, maybe a potential one firefighter come up to your door, would ask some questions before they enter, and just to make an evaluation, and then they would proceed with uh, providing treatment. In critical calls, we will be uh, addressing those calls uh, uh, the way they should be addressed. Uh, one of the things uh, which leads to the next question is how, what do I need, if I call 911 because I need medical help, what do I tell them? What we encourage our community is when they call 911, tell the call taker if you're experiencing some of those COVID-19 symptoms, meaning if you're having difficulty breathing, fever, uh, you're not feeling well, um, all of those types of kind of flu-like symptoms, you want to tell the call taker. But you also you want to, more importantly, you want to tell, tell the call taker if somebody in your house, a friend, family member is experiencing those symptoms. Even if they don't, they're not the sort of the patient that we need to treat, let the call taker know if those symptoms are present. That will help us prepare for our response. The third question, I would like I would like to make a donation of supplies. Can I just st stop by any fire station? I, I would discourage our community from stopping by fire stations. We are taking some donations of sanitizer, 
gowns, medical gloves, masks, and water. And those we recommend to be new and opened if possible. You can drop off those uh, donations at 2742 25th Street Southeast by Station 6 at the training uh, division site. We would uh, refer any other donations such as perishables, food items, please donate to the food bank. Uh, they would appreciate the donation. I'd like to turn it over to uh, operations, public works operations managers, Mark Bechtel, to talk about uh, some park uh, information. Thank you, Deputy Chief. Uh, I'm Mark Bechtel, I'm the Public Works Operations Manager, and here are the questions that we've received uh, quite a bit of uh, interest in. Question number one, are Salem Park still open for people to use during the governor's current stay home, save lives executive order? All of Salem's parks are open for people to come and walk and to use the trails, enjoy the fresh air, walk their dogs, uh, relax and recreate. However, in order to reduce the potential for spreading the COVID-19 virus and to comply with the governor's executive order, uh, we have closed our restrooms, drinking fountains, playgrounds, tennis courts, sports courts, ball fields, soccer fields, and yes, even our cricket pitch is closed. We ask that when you're in the parks that you maintain the minimum six foot social distancing uh, space between you and others uh, resist the urge to congregate in groups, and please keep your dog on a leash. The second question, how are you going to make sure water, sewer, and other critical public works services will continue? Salem's public works employees are dedicated to making sure that our community receives and has provided all of its critical services, including clean, safe drinking water, wastewater treatment, traffic signals, street repairs, and clean and maintained parks. This requires that we maintain our workforce as healthy as possible. Some of the things that we are doing to maintain a healthy workforce is we practice the six foot social distancing rule. We monitor the health of our employees. We clean and sanitize surfaces. We have reduced the number of passengers in our vehicles and have as many staff teleworking from home as possible. We have contingency plans in place and ready to go to guide our efforts if our employees begin to become ill. We will do everything we can to make sure that you are provided the critical services that you depend on us. The third question is, if I can't afford to pay my utility bill this month, will the city come and shut my water off? We know that this is a challenging time for many in our community. If you are unable financially to pay your utility bill in the month of March or April, we will not shut off your water service to your home or business. Uh, we do ask that you contact our utility customer service billing, customer service agents uh, at the following phone number, 503-588-6099, and they can assist you with your account. And that's our questions. All right, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Gabe, and thank you, Salem, for tuning in. City staff have been answering your question during this live broadcast. But if you have a question that we didn't cover, staff have been working hard to provide answers and information on the City of Salem website. As the governor's orders are updated, the information about our city services and programs are updated on the website too. You can just click on the orange banner at the top of the webpage or you can scroll and look through the many articles and topics you will see on the main page. Remember, there are many city services available online, such as filing police reports or submitting building permits. Please take a moment to check it all out and see how we can be at your service during these unexpected circumstances. Thanks again, and stay healthy and stay safe.